for my August month end update. Now those images you saw at the beginning there were from a short break that my husband and I took at the end of July to celebrate our 8th wedding anniversary and I've actually made that trip into a little video that I've shared over on my Happy Moments YouTube channel. It's a channel where I share things that I do that aren't related to dolls housing or miniaturing. So if you'd like to know what else I get up to, then go and have a look at that video. And I'll put a link um, to it at the end of this video as well. Now, I didn't do an update at the end of July because I was away. So we've got two months to have a look at. So let's get started. We'll start as always with my first goal for this year and that is to grow my YouTube channel. And since the end of June the channel has had 654 new subscribers so thank you to everybody who has subscribed and a very warm welcome to the channel. And whether you're new to the channel or not please do hit the little notification bell below. I'm not quite sure where it is, somewhere down there. Um, and then you'll get an alert every time I add a new video. Now, as I said at the end of June, I wouldn't be adding much to the channel over the last couple of months, um, just simply because I've been working on book five, which we'll come to next. Um, but I did manage to upload four videos. So I added my 14th vlog, and that was just a very short video about some new products in my Etsy shop. I added another video to the Garden Shed series and I just added a few more bits and pieces to the shed. And I have a little bit more to do to the shed. There's a few more bits and pieces I want to add. So there will be one final video in that series. So do look out for that. I also added a tutorial for a sideboard buffet unit, which has been very popular. And I added another video to my Out and About series where I visited the model village in Borton on the Water. And the last time I went there I was about seven years old and it was on a school trip. So it was really lovely to go back there. So on to my second goal of the year, to release my fifth book. Now you've probably seen if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram that I have actually finished the final shed, the potting shed. So what I'm working on now, and what I have been working on for the last few weeks, is the final editing for the book. So editing all of the photographs and actually typesetting the book. So that's laying out all of the pages as you'll see it in the final um, copy of the book. And I'm getting on really well with that. And then there's all the sort of final bits to be done, such as um, all the legal bits, the copywriting, writing the introduction, all the about me bits and everything else that are, that are always included in the books. So I've still got all of that to do. Now, as you know, I was hoping to have a copy of the book with me today for this month end vlog, but that hasn't happened. And I do tend to set goals that are too short. I always think, well, that's you know, eight weeks is a long time, I'll have it done by then. But actually when you're working on it, you realise that things take a lot longer than you think. So I'm still working on it. At the moment, I'm estimating another three weeks and that's to have everything done and press the publish button. So hopefully at the end of September, I will have the book with me. And of course, I'll let you know when that comes out. I'll probably do a little YouTube video to introduce you to the book and give you a preview. But I'll also post that on my Facebook page and Instagram. So if you follow me on any of those, you'll be the first to hear about it. So on to my third goal for the year, to increase the range of products in my Etsy shop. Now, I have been adding a few new products here and there. So there's some lovely new crockery. I also added another of my crocheted throws. There were those items that I told you about in my vlog number 14. There's two lots of clay cutters in there now, both 7mm. I added some really pretty tea sets as well, which have been popular. And I've also seen an increase in followers of my Etsy shop. So I've got over 1,800 followers of the shop now, or people who have favourited my shop, which is lovely. And if you favourite the shop, you'll be the first to hear about any new products that come in. And I'll pop a link to the shop below as well. My fourth goal for this year is to revamp my workshop. Now, I've 
actually put this goal on hold because with everything else that I've been doing I just haven't had time but hopefully I will get around to it this year if if only just to sort of start it and maybe do the decorating and then carry on with that in the new year. Okay so just a couple of other things I wanted to talk to you about and I just wanted to tell you that my um, beach room that you may have even seen here on my YouTube channel and that you may have seen when it was originally published in Doll's House Projects back in 2014 is appearing in the September issue of Doll's House World magazine. So that's really nice to see that that beach room which was the first tutorial I ever had published is still popular and people still enjoy looking at it so that's nice. There's just one more thing I wanted to talk about and that is YouTube and in particular the adverts that you see on my channel. Now a lovely lady asked me the question, does it help me if you watch the adverts or if you sit through the adverts? And the answer is yes it does, but let me just explain how it works. So when I upload a video to YouTube I get the option to monetize that video and what that means is that I'm then allowing them to place adverts on my video. So you'll probably now, I think you see a couple at the beginning now, um, and then maybe you'll get like a banner flash up as you're watching the video. Um, now I don't have control obviously over which adverts are on my channel, um, that's all down to YouTube, but I do have the option to monetize or not. So how it works is that YouTube pay um, between $1 and $10 per every 1,000 views of the adverts. Now the $10 will be for the really huge channels who have hundreds of thousands if not millions of subscribers. The way it works out for me is every 1,000 um, views of the adverts, not of the actual video but of the adverts, I get about £1.20p. So it really is just pence per view of the advert. If you actually do click through to the website and you end up ordering something or booking tickets or, or whatever the advertisement's for, then that amount goes up by maybe another couple of pence. If you have a look at my videos, you'll see that even the more popular ones, say like the sideboard for example, in over a month it only had a couple of thousand views. And even if everybody then sat and watched the adverts, I would have got about £2.50 um, for that video. And if you bear in mind that actually making the sideboard would have took me probably around eight hours if I was to do it sort of from beginning to end. I don't. I sort of work on other things at the same time, so I might do it over the space of a week. But if I was to just sit and do it um, from beginning to end, it would probably be about a day's work. And then those long videos that are between sort of an hour to an hour and a half take an awful lot of editing. So if you imagine that I've got to then sit and watch through eight hours worth of footage to cut it down to what you actually see within that hour. And then there's all the transition clips that I add in between the clips to make it nicer to watch. There's the music, the intro, the outro, um, all of that sort of thing. So editing one of those longer videos can actually take me another day to a day and a half. So just for that one video, that's two and a half days worth of work. Um, now, I, I'm not on YouTube for the money. I use it as a channel to let you know um, about other areas of my business, about my books, about my Etsy shop, and also, of course, to share with you my knowledge. And I really enjoy doing that, and I'm not going to stop um, using YouTube just because I'm not earning any money from it. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, I probably won't be adding any more videos to the channel until the book has been released. And like I say, hopefully that's going to be the third week of September. So at the end of next month, I, I will be holding a copy of the new book in my hands. So do look out for the announcement on Facebook and Instagram. And here as well on YouTube, I'll do a little preview video, like I said. I probably won't be adding any other videos though until the book is released. Once the book is released, I will be getting back to my doll's house. And what I thought I'd do is spend a week to two weeks doing nothing but working on my doll's house and I'll do a video every day or every couple of days depending on what I've got done throughout the day. So I hope that'll be something you'll enjoy. Okay so I think that's it for now so thank you for joining me and I hope you have a lovely September and I'll see you soon. Bye!